At Burnathon, we're proud to present evidence for each technology level of Burnathon and Conta. Recently, we completed new technical measurements and sound demos in our state-of-the-art sound studio here at DMAN headquarters in Denmark. Let's go into the studio and talk with clinical research audiologist Hella Flocken to learn more about these technical measurements, their findings, and how they may help assist you and your clients in making an informed choice on which Encanta is best for them. Hi, Hella. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. Hi, Chris. Thanks for coming into the sound studio. So can you tell me a little more about these technical measurements and the setup? Yes. So we set up heads fitted with Bernafon and Kanta hearing aids in the sound studio. And then we played speech from the front at 65 dB SVL and noise from plus minus 110 degrees at different noise levels um, to get signal to noise ratios in the environment between minus 10 and 10 dB SNR. And then in this setup, we recorded the hearing aid output. So in other words, we recorded speech in noise processed by the hearing aid. And from these recordings, we then calculate the, um, the speech level and the noise level to estimate the hearing aid's output SNR, which gives us insights into how much um, the hearing aid can reduce noise while preserving speech. Wow, that's really cool. So can you tell me a little bit more about the five uh, SNR levels that you tested? Yes, a positive SNR means that the speech level is higher than the noise level. Zero dB SNR means that they are the same. And a negative SNR means that the noise level is higher than the speech level. So in the noisiest environment that we tested, the noise level was 10 dB higher than the speech level. And in the quietest environment that we tested, the noise level was 10 dB lower than the speech level. Okay, so, so what we're looking at here is something like this. So we have an environment, and that environment has a certain speech level and noise level, and we call that the environment SNR. And then this environment SNR enters the hearing aid. And the hearing aid's noise management system works its magic, and the, the, we get a certain level of SNR enhancement in the hearing aid. As we increase technology level, the SNR enhancement also increases. This results in what we call experienced SNR, which is the new adjusted level of uh, speech and noise that enters the ear. The experienced SNR gives us insight into the clarity of speech experienced by the user. Does that sound correct? Yes, exactly. So let's look into the results of the measurements. Um, here we see the here we see the output SNR enhancement. So as you move to the right, the noise level goes up, and as you move up on the graph is the output SNR enhancement, which is essentially the level of support that the hearing aid is providing. So what we see is that as you move up technology level, you get more and more support from your hearing aid in noisy situations, and the effect um, is stronger the noisier the situation. Now that all looks great, but it looks like the Encanto 100 isn't doing too much. Is that right? Yes, so we have to keep in mind th that what we are looking at here is noise management and not amplification. Uh, we actually ran a study last year and showed that the Encanto 100 improves the, the speech reception threshold in quiet by 11 dB compared to unaided. I see. So Encanto 100 is great in low noise environments, but doesn't do so well in high noise environments. Yes, which now takes me to the next part of the story, which is the experienced SNR. What the hearing aid user will hear is the environment SNR plus the SNR enhancement that you get from the hearing aid. So if we take the Encanto 300 as an example, we just saw that in a minus 5 dB SNR environment, it, pro it provides 10 dB SNR enhancement. So now for the user, the experienced SNR is plus 5 dB, which is minus 5 plus 10 gives 5. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Uh, but this graph's a little harder to read because all the curves are going down. And why is that? 
Yes, so all the curves are going down because the environment is getting noisier. If you take the Encanto 100, for example, there's no, um, there's no advanced noise management. So the experienced SNR is approximately the same as the environment SNR. With the higher technology levels, you have a higher experienced SNR, but still a noisy environment will be perceived noisier than a low noise environment. What will really help us in understand these results is if we introduce this gray area. Um, you see, speech understanding generally gets challenging when the signal to noise ratio is below 3 dB. So what we have here are actually insights into which situations will probably get challenging for a user. For example, the, the Encanto 300 drops off to the gray area at minus 10 dB SNR. And in this super noisy environment, only the 400 provides sufficient support. But in, in the more quiet environments, all four encounter solutions provide enough support and are above the gray zone. Wow, that's really cool. So when the HCP and client are trying to make a choice as to which Encanta technology level to choose, this evidence can help assist them by, based on the amount of noise that the client is encountering in their everyday life. Yes, exactly. You can ask your client in which situations they usually struggle and then discuss which Encanta technology level makes sense for them. However, it's important to always keep in mind that it is highly individual how a person will perceive and rate these different listening situations, depending on individual expectations and experience, but also the hearing loss and characteristics of the background noise and the speech that they are listening to. Mm. So, Hella, I hear that you've also recorded some new sound demos. Can we have a listen? Yes, of course. It's best to hear them with headphones. The sound demos are recordings of speech and noise at the output of the hearing aid. So what you will hear is a couple talking about a theater, and as the conversation proceeds, it will switch from Encanto 100 to the higher technology levels. So what you hopefully hear is that the contrast between speech and noise increases, which makes it easier for you to follow the conversation. Let's start with an environment where the speech level is 5 dB higher than the noise level. I read in the newspaper today that a new theatre is opening. Isn't that great? It sure is. What plays are they showing? Oh. Oh. Wow, you can really hear a difference even in a low noise environment. Yes, in this low noise environment, the, the user should experience good speech clarity with the Encanto 100, but as you move up to the higher technology levels, the background noise is reduced more and more, which may then increase listening comfort. Let's listen to the same conversation in a noisier environment where the noise level is 5 dB higher than the speech level. Wow. Oh. Well, I really struggled to hear the speech with the Encanto 100 and 200, but with the 300 and 400, the speech clarity was much better. Yeah, that's right. Well, Hella, thank you for taking the time to talk to me about these technical measurements and show off a few of those sound demos. Thank you, Chris.